Hey guys, so so it's a nice comfortable 82 degrees outside today on Thursday. So it's been cloudy most of the time today and the sun is now finally coming out. And so 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 I just thought I'd just give y'all a little update. So this is the October update video. I mentioned in a previous video that I haven't been seeing any hummingbirds at my feeder since last Friday. Well basically that all changed. I actually saw one just a little while ago today at the feeder. So apparently they're still around. They're probably not going to hang around for that long because uh, this weekend we're supposed to have a, a cold front move in. The temperatures are supposed to be down into the lower 50s. Yeah. And also as well as some more rain too. So yeah. And uh, we've now finally been harvesting the pecans out of our pecan tree. So like here's some here that's ready to be harvested. So I can actually just go harvest them up right now. It's a little bit wet there. So yeah. This is usually a way to know when to harvest them. Probably gonna have dirty hands after all this, so I better just set them aside. I've been seeing some uh, squirrels, been nabbing a few, but actually I'll show you of how much that we have harvested. We're just right over here. Well, it's kind of hard to see. There's some here in this uh, this beard case. There's some. There's a lot more. A lot more in the sack. I know you can't see them. It's a little bit dark in here. So yeah, that's all of our pecans. We probably got over a... I'm just going to take a guess, but I'm not sure. That could be about maybe close to a hundred pecans that we have harvested so far. That was just mostly from me and my dad. Mostly my dad, though. So that's why uh, we left the ladder sitting over by the tree. And so, yeah. And I finally uh, cut that limb. Well, actually, that limb was actually starting to split. Just because of with so much weight on it, it basically couldn't withstand it anymore. So yeah, that's what I've been busy doing. So I pulled out the chainsaw and been doing some trimming on it. And I've made the bigger piles of pecan wood all right here. Just use them on uh, for barbecuing. Just give those to my brother. He still has, he's got a whole lot of them. I couldn't fit all of those in here. So I just put in whatever I could. So I know pecan, pecan wood is actually a pretty good wood. It actually smells good too, even when you shred it too. I did some shredding today. And as you can see, I got, I still got a big pile of stuff to shred. This is just too much for me to do all of this in one day, especially me doing it by myself. So I'm just going to take my time on all of this. So here's some pecan mulch. That's basically the majority of it. Some of it is still some uh, maple, but most of that is pecan. So I've been retrieving about every pecans as much as possible whenever I would cut down 
one of the limbs or branches I would say and it's a good thing I cut it I cut down that limb just at the right time because it was just about to actually uh, kill this area of the grass because this area right here it was just starting to die I did all this last Friday and then Saturday, all day Saturday, we had a really good uh, rainstorm. I don't know if I would set a storm or rainstorm, but it basically it just rained all day long. And they actually had to postpone the uh, the Texas Ranger game. There was supposed to have been a a Ranger game that day, and they ended up having to play a doubleheader on Sunday. They had to play two games. I can't even believe the Texas Rangers lost yesterday. I thought that they would have just had it. I think it's just all because of Josh Hamilton just not catching that ball. Oh my gosh. If any of y'all had saw that game yesterday and showed that Ron Washington was having a, a talk with Josh Hamilton. Oh my gosh. But at least, you know, the Rangers are still in the playoffs. So they'll be playing uh, the Baltimore Orioles tomorrow night at Rangers Ballpark in Arlington. And I'm just about 30 miles north from there. Well, not 30 miles, 30 minutes, I should say. And so, yeah. Our maple tree is starting to shed its leaves. And, and I even forgot to even mention, I had forgot to inform y'all that uh, just last weekend, we actually had three earthquakes. Yeah, three earthquakes. A lot closer from where I live. And apparently I didn't even feel any of the quakes one of them was a lot closer to uh, over to the airport and we live just west of the airport and I don't know I didn't even I don't know how I didn't even feel them. I've I was home all day was just gonna watch the Ranger game but then found out that game got uh, rained out so yeah That's kind of surprising. We've been there's been quite a bit of earthquakes in Texas, not like them real big ones. Usually, it just is. It's just like a a little boom. That's just basically all it is. I knew few, I knew several years back we had an earthquake and I actually felt it, and it was just a a boom, just like that. <clears throat> Our cannas are starting to turn brown. And, and I fertilized the grass last week. I see, and I cut down all of this. Uh, let's see, a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah. I still need to do still need to cut these privet hedges need to cut them again because they hadn't been cut in a couple months I'll we'll definitely need to cut these before winter so, yeah I need to tumble up the compost pile I've been intending to do that so yeah and tomorrow I will make the uh, October lawn cutting video. I'll do that t tomorrow. Since, since this weekend we're supposed to get rain again and also as well as some cooler uh, weather. Just because of that cold front moving in. 
And yeah, I'll keep on posting uh, new Super Mario Brothers 2 walkthroughs and Luigi's Mansion. And also as well as some more uh, roller, co roller Coaster Tycoon 3 videos. There's one of them I just need to... I just need to upload it. I just got done editing it. It's a recreation of the uh, Goliath roller coaster at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. So I just need to upload it. And so, yeah. So I uh, hope y'all enjoy this update video. So, thanks for watching.